yellow guys it is fluffy says here and welcome back to another video for you guys today today guys we're going to be teaching you how to get custom songs on your oculus quest in the latest version version 1.11 not a lot has changed ever since version 1.9 when they moved to the bmbf dev.stable link but this will be a little bit of an updated tutorial for you guys where i will be going over what you need what you don't need and the simplest way to get songs both from your pc and from your quest. Along with going through all the steps, I'm gonna be giving troubleshooting tips for each of the steps for problems that are commonly occurred that I have read down in the comments on my previous video. These are things from Beat Saber being a black screen when it starts up to other things like BMBF not recognizing that you have Beat Saber installed. These are all simply troubleshooted and so I will be talking about them when I talk about that step. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Things you will need in today's video. For today's video, you're gonna need your Oculus Quest. You're gonna need a paid version of Beat Saber. You're going to need a PC. This can be a laptop, as long as it's running at least Windows 7. This even works on a Mac if you have one of those. Along with that, you need a way to plug in your Quest to your PC of choice. And lastly, you are going to need your cell phone with the Oculus app. So let's get started with installing SideQuest onto your PC. First things first, head down to the link in the description that takes you to the SideQuest website. Then up at the top, click download, which will then take you to the downloads page. Once you're there, you can then click on the Windows or Mac OS version and get the installer for SideQuest. Once the installer has finished downloading, you can then run it. Just click accept install and get through the installation process and SideQuest will start. Don't worry about that warning. That's just because I already have SideQuest installed. Once it's done, click finish and start up SideQuest. Next up, we have to turn on developer mode. Developer mode is super simple to turn on. I have a video, it's up in the top right if you click the little eye icon and it teaches you how to turn on developer mode. Super simple, you just have to go into your phone, more settings, turn on developer mode for your headset and then you'll be able to use SideQuest. So go watch that video, it'll also be linked down below in the description. Now it's time to plug in your headset. Plugging in your headset with the most recent update to the Oculus Quest is now super simple. Basically, any cord will work as long as it's a USB-C into the headset, and then it can be a USB-C out or a USB out as long as it transfers data. This next step is only for people who have already had BMBF installed and are now trying to update their Beat Saber version and then get the new BMBF. What you need to do is head into My Apps on SideQuest, then locate BMBF. Click on the cog next to BMBF, and then click uninstall app. BMBF will begin to uninstall, and then you can go up and click on Beat Saber, that should be right above BMBF. Click the cog, and then also uninstall Beat Saber. If you would like to save your campaign data, make sure you click the top backup data button. Once both of those have uninstalled, you can then head into your headset and install the new version of Beat Saber. Once you have the new version of Beat Saber installed, you are now back on track with the rest of the people who are doing this for their first time. Next up on the to-do list, head down into the link in the description that takes you to this website on screen, bmbf.dev slash stable. This will be the place to get your BMBF APKs for the foreseeable future. So even after a new update for Beat Saber comes out, this video tutorial should still be viable as long as you get the latest version of BMBF. With that being said though, for the latest version of BMBF, it's actually 1.10 even though Beat Saber's on 1.11. BMBF versions are independent of actual Beat Saber versions. Now that we've gone over that, let's download the actual BMBF APK. To download it, scroll down to where it says assets, and then under name, it says com.weloveoculus.bmbf.apk. All you gotta do is click on that, and your download will begin. Once you have the APK, you can then go into SideQuest and open My Apps. Once you have My Apps open, you can then take your file, your new BMBF APK, and you can drag and drop it into SideQuest. 
The installation will then begin and we'll finally finish with this green bar telling you at the bottom saying all tasks completed. Once you get this, you are good to head to your headset. Once you're in your headset, head to your apps and then up in the top right, click the little drop down and then click unknown sources. Once in unknown sources, scroll down to BMBF and click on it. Once you've clicked on BMBF, BMBF will open on screen and it'll be a little tab that'll take you across this installation process. I got a lot of comments on my last video of these people all having the same problem and this one problem is caused by you not reading the screen. It actually tells you to do something and if you don't do it, this problem will occur. We'll get to that in a second. So I just recommend read everything across the BMBF installation before you continue on the next step. But you will get your introduction to BMBF. After that, you can just click continue and then it will take you to step one. Step one involves you needing to uninstall Beat Saber. Click uninstall Beat Saber and Beat Saber will begin to uninstall. If you try this step and you try to click uninstall Beat Saber and it does not work and it says BMBF cannot find Beat Saber, this is because you are not using the proper version of BMBF. You run an old outdated version of BMBF. Make sure you have the 1.10 version at this current date or the latest one in the future. After you click uninstall Beat Saber, it will begin to uninstall Beat Saber from your Oculus Quest. After it finishes, give it a couple seconds, it's not actually finished yet, a little white prompt will pop up saying do you want to uninstall this app? Make sure you click OK and then Beat Saber will uninstall. After this happens, you can then click the new pink pop up that says patch Beat Saber. Let this load, leave your headset on, you can browse your phone looking through the little nose hole on the bottom while you wait. After this is finished, you'll move on to step three. Make sure you read this, especially under the important part. But this is where a lot of people are having the problem. They weren't clicking done afterwards. You'll see it when it pops up, but people weren't clicking done afterwards and they were just clicking open. Do not click open. Beat Saber will open and it'll just be a black screen. And then anytime you try and open Beat Saber afterwards, It'll just be a black screen until you reinstall and do all the steps again. So just make sure you click done, not open. But after that, you can then click install modded Beat Saber, which will start up the installation for Beat Saber with BMBF installed. After you click that, another white prompt will appear. Just click install down in the bottom right, and then modded Beat Saber will begin to install. This step can take a little bit of time. Once again, just leave your headset on and let it run. After this has completed, BMBF will then open up. If you backed up your data, you'll have the choice to restore. If you click restore, you'll have all of your previous songs in your playlist tab. At first they won't show up, like as you can see right now, I don't have any of my songs, but they will show up later over time. It just takes a couple minutes for them to get there. Now let's talk about what's on BMBF. First is getting songs. It's actually super simple. All you have to do is head under browser and then you can search for whatever song you would like to play. Of course, this doesn't have every single song under the sun, but it does have a lot. I recommend using the search up in the top right if you want to find something. As you can see now, all of my songs have returned to me. And you can see that new song that I just downloaded. And a lot of people are asking me, how do I get rid of songs? Just click that X next to the song under the playlist tab. Along with songs, this is also how you get mods like custom savers on your Oculus Quest. You can head under the mods tab and then you can turn on and turn off your mods with ease. A lot of the mods I have right now are outdated. I don't know if they will work and carry over. I doubt they will, but hopefully people will push out the newest version of their mod soon. Once you've done that, you can head up to the top right and click the big red sync to Beat Saber. That will sync up all of your data to Beat Saber. And then when you start up Beat Saber, you will be able to play your custom songs. You can launch Beat Saber normally, or you can launch it through BMBF. As you can see, to access your custom songs, all you have to do is go down into the bottom where you see all the playlists and then click on the custom maps. If you run Beat Saber through BMBF, you will be like this guy and being like, hey, I just installed BMBF. Does this mean I can no longer record gameplay? And I asked them, why do you think that? And it's because if you open Beat Saber through BMBF, you won't be able to record gameplay. 
because BNBF is technically run through Oculus TV and Oculus TV doesn't let you record for copyright sake. And so if you want to bypass this, all you have to do is exit out of Beat Saber, exit out of BNBF and then open Beat Saber normally. Okay, now that we went over how to actually get custom songs installed, let's talk about how to get more custom songs. So let's say you're playing Beat Saber for a little bit and you want to go get more custom songs. To do this, it's super simple. Just from the Oculus home screen, head into my apps and then head into Oculus TV. Then in Oculus TV, you can head to channels and then into BMBF. BMBF will open and you'll be able to get more songs by clicking that little download cloud. Now let's say you don't want to go through the hassle of getting songs on your headset because it's really annoying to navigate and you want to do it all from your PC. Luckily, this is also possible. Leave your headset plugged into your PC with BMBF open. Then all you have to do is head over to SideQuest where you can then pick up your headset local IP, pick that up and then head into a web browser of choice. Put that set of numbers into your web browser, then put in a colon followed by five and then four zeros. That's one, two, three, four zeros, and then click enter. It might take some time to load up, but then you'll be brought to the BMBF upload page. On this page, you will then be able to drag and drop mods along with custom songs. If you're having difficulties reaching this page, make sure your headset is plugged in with BMBF running on the headset. As well as that, you need to make sure you are on Wi-Fi. If your PC, laptop, Mac is using Ethernet, it will not work. If you are hardlined into your internet, it will not work. You need to be going over the Wi-Fi. But once you have gotten to the BMBF upload page, you are good to go and get your songs. Now there's two ways you can get songs using two different websites, both linked down in the description. One of them is beatsaver.com. That's B-E-A-T-S-A-V-E-R dot C-O-M. And the other one is bsaver.com. That's B s a b e r dot c o m both of these sites are super simple to navigate just find the song you want click the little download and you'll get the compressed zip file once you have the compressed zip file you can then drag and drop that file into the bmbf upload page on your pc and you will begin the upload process once you've completed that you can then click sync saber up in the top right and you'll be able to access that song over on your headset before I end off the video, I would like to say I've been talking to a Quest modder for Beat Saber and they would like me to tell you about Pink Utils. Pink Utils is a mod that you can add to your Oculus Quest. It's super simple. You can just download it using the link in the description and then you drag and drop it into BMBF on your computer. This mod is super helpful and gives you notifications for when you need to update BMBF or update certain mods and all that stuff. It basically just improves the experience of modding on your Oculus Quest. If you're having problems loading songs, this mod will help with that. It'll tell you what mods you actually need on your headset to be able to run specific songs. So if a song is just infinitely loading, this mod will tell you what you need to do to fix that. That's how to get custom songs on your Oculus Quest. If this helped you, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you want to see more content by me. You can also join my Discord link in the description if you need more assistance. Also, feel free to leave comments down below. I'll be answering as many as possible. And thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. See you on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Bye.